about one in four prescriptions issued for antibiotics in England each year, about 10 million in all, are likely to be unnecessary, as patients deliberately look for soft-touch doctors who give in to their demands for the medicines. A leading health official from National Institute for Health and Care Excellence has said. According to the Institute, despite considerable guidance that prescribing rates of antibiotics should be reduced, 9 out of 10 general practitioners say that they feel pressured to prescribe antibiotics and 97% of patients who ask for antibiotics are prescribed them. The Institute calls for prescribers to discuss with patients the likely natures of their condition, the benefits and harms of immediate prescribing and options such as watchful waiting or delayed prescribing, when prescriptions are issued only after microbial samples from the patient have been tested. I think by supporting initiatives, public health initiatives, I think there's nothing wrong with using the mass media, uh, such as television, radio, posters, newspapers, by telling stories to people about the appropriate and the inappropriate use of antibiotics. And simple stories like, for me, I would say that I want antibiotics to work when I get pneumonia as an old man and I expect you would like the antibiotics to work but if we continue prescribing in the way that we do then they will not work and there will not be treatment available when you or I are older and we need them. The dangers of antibiotic resistance first became a major issue in the UK in the late 1990s when they were raised by Sir Liam Donaldson, the then Chief Medical Officer. His successor, Dan Sally Davis, took up the cudgels in 2013 with David Cameron calling for global action the following year. Experts fear the crisis is deepening with no new class of antibiotics or other major scientific development in 30 years.